Hurricane season continues from now until November 30th. Richland County residents and businesses should always be prepared if the worst happens. The peak of hurricane season when we have the majority of our hurricanes and tropical storms is the first week in September. That's about the mid-range. You can also have named tropical storms outside of that time frame, but those six months are the time when we typically see named storms. Uh, the biggest threat for us here in Richland County are the hurricanes that not so much come from the Atlantic, but it's the ones that come out of the Gulf of Mexico. Those are the ones that oftentimes produce tornadoes, mm -hmm. and we've had many of our big tornado outbreaks due to tropical systems coming out of the Gulf, not so much the ones along the coast. Well, the first step is being alert, being aware of any tropical system. We're in hurricane season. If you live in South Carolina, you have to be aware of what is happening out in the tropics each, each day. You also want to have an emergency supply kit, uh, and you want to have that not only for hurricanes, but for tornadoes, possibly earthquakes. We're susceptible to that here as well, um, and any kind of natural disaster. An emergency supply kit uh, you want to have at least a week's worth of supplies so that you can be self-sustained uh, before emergency services is able to get to you. Now, hopefully it will be sooner than a week, but you need everyone needs to be prepared for at least a week's worth of uh, food, canned foods, um, uh, battery-operated uh, flashlights, uh, weather radios, um, all of the necessary things in a supply kit to be self-sustained. Richland County's Emergency Services Department relies on a state-of-the-art weather information data system known as RC Winds. With 40 Weatherhawk monitoring stations collecting real-time readings across the entire county, RC Winds gives up-to-the-minute weather information during hurricane season and throughout the year. RC Winds gives us critical information and provides it to the emergency responders so that we can better prepare and better plan on helping the citizens of Richland County. We have these weather monitoring stations that provide data near real time so we can actually know where the flooding is occurring and be able to send our folks out there to help those uh, who are most in need, not by just looking at radar, but actually seeing ground level information uh, that's very key to providing warnings and alerting people of possible dangers out there. If we have thunderstorms that produce damaging winds and that storm is moving to a certain area, we can warn people well in advance to be prepared for the possibility of damaging winds and they can take cover. So there are a lot of uh, pieces to these weather stations, a lot of uh, information that we gather that use to protect uh, lives and property.